How's it going tonight, gentlemen? Can you tell me what happened here tonight? So we're just coming from Jackson Box, right? We see a car accident right here. Right and we come to help. We couldn't help, right? You see the guy right here in the black, the black truck right here? And we asked him if he was okay. When I turn around and I see a little baby in, in some lady's hand. The baby's like, it's pretty much like just gone. gone. So the baby here. wasn't breathing? The baby. I'm not sure about that. We come over here, we try to help around, and the baby just dangling. So the baby didn't appear to be breathing. Exactly. And that's when the ambulance come and everything. And as soon as we know, that guy from the black truck is gone. He's not around, he just takes off. So the guy, the guy in the black truck hit the sedan with the baby in the back. Exactly. And then he took off running on foot? Exactly. Yes. And other than that, there was another young girl inside the car. Inside the car, not breathing. As far as we know, she's not doing good. Okay. She's not doing good. We came out from Jack in the Box and we just saw the the guy the one that crashed, the one that caused the scene. He's the one that hit the other cars. And he was the first one that we asked, like, are you okay? He said yes. He said yes. And then so we went over there and then we just seen the family. So we just went right to the family. And my brother came and he's like, you guys okay? Like, yes, it wasn't even us that crashed. It was the family. My brother grabs the, ba the, the baby from her grandma. Did you guys see what happened? We, uh, like I was saying, so we were walking over here and then we talked to the guy or whatever. And he's like, yeah, I'm okay. And we went to a family, my brother grabbed their daughter, which I believe, I would say like she's about eight months. Around there, and he grabs her, and she was not like responding or anything, he starts breathing into her. And after that, she's like, after 10 minutes, he starts like, she starts reacting a little bit. That's when the ambulance came, they grabbed her. 
And then there was another young girl, she, I would say like about 10 years old around there. She was not responding. I guess she was like critical conditions. Critical conditions. And they took her in. And they took the, the grandma in, which is the one that we talked to basically about everything. All right, I appreciate your time, gentlemen.